It's a great thing. So just because no one else is doing it, it doesn't necessarily mean that they tried it and it didn't work or that it's a bad idea. It just means that people are afraid to step out of their comfort zone. Every designer does like this. If I want to be taken seriously, I better do it like this. But in a, in a, in a way, all of that myopic thinking is making the buyer's eyes glaze over. And I guarantee you their eyes are glazing over, okay? If one more person sends special opportunity in an email, <laughs> if it's a special opportunity, it's coming in an invitation in the mail, right? If it's really a special invitation, it's not in my freaking inbox. It's in my mailbox with a little gold lettering. Okay, so yeah, if it's a special invitation, it's not in an email. Really, you know, you get something you invited to the White House, you think that's going to be an email? I don't think so. <laughs> Oprah's having a big party, is that going to be an email? I don't think so. She's sending it in the mail. So that's another thing that people overlook a lot, I think, is, is just use of the snail mail, too, versus email. But um, so, so here's how I got an appointment with Neiman Marcus the very first time I sent them anything, okay? Um, whatever. I, I'm so young, <laughs> naive. One might say ignorant, I don't know. But I just didn't really know any better. And I didn't have any money to make a fancy mailer or a lookbook or anything. So what I did was I took the fabric that I was using for spring and I photocopied it, literally. <laughs> did a color copy of it and turned that into a postcard. And it was a print of like uh, apples or something. It was, it was fresh at the time, you know. And so it was just the apples on this side. On the other side it said, you know, Jane Hamill collection, the basic stuff, where to find me information. Literally, I got a call the day, you know, four days after they went out from the buyer at Neiman's in Dallas, the buyer herself. And I was like, no shit, really? <laughs> so she calls me, she's like, hi, I got your postcard. I was like, hey, yeah, who's this? I thought it was a joke. And she goes, I'd like to meet with you and see your line. And I said, great, when, what's a good time? And because I had, a, um, I was going to be in New York to show the line. And so she told me, good. I was like, whatever you like. Here's, I had a space I could use from my friend who had a show in there. And that was that. And she actually showed up and saw the line, and you know, it was great. But it was because what I did was just so completely different than what everyone else was doing. And it was also partly because I couldn't do what they were doing. I couldn't afford that. I didn't have time or energy. I mean, it took me like half an hour to make that postcard. But I have good taste. I have good style. You know, it worked out okay. Um, so what can you do that's different? What can you do to shake things up? When you get something um, in the mail, do you ever get anything fun in the mail anymore? Bills. Bills, right? Okay, so if you're, but if you're a buyer at a store, what do they get in the mail? Think about it. You probably all worked at stores. They get line sheets. They get um, brochures, like a threefold. And they all says, buy my product, buy my product, buy my product, right? So if you were a buyer sitting there getting that all day, what would you want to get in the mail? 